So guys, <coughs> so boys and girls, if you notice that uh, we have two equations to solve problem related to interference of the firm. Anyhow, which equation we need to use, it much depends on whether our reflected light is having phase difference of pi radian or there is no phase difference between the reflected light. So, in this video, I'm going to show you how you are going to identify the correct equation according to the situation given and solve the problem related to thin firm interference. So class, how we are going to identify the equation for thin firm easily? We are going to use 2nt equal to m lambda or 2nt equal to m plus half lambda in order to solve a problem. So I give you a easy method to identify the equations easily. You might use cross pair method. So first, we draw a cross. Then we label CD, CD. C stands for constructive interference. D stands for destructive interference. So label it clockwise. CD, CD. Then third, we make categories. We know that we only have two types of interference for reflected ray, whether it's in phase or empty phase. And then we only have two equations. So we put the equation. On the left hand side, 2nt equal to m lambda. On the right hand side, 2nt equal to m plus half lambda. So how to use the cross pair method to identify the equation for a thin film according to the situation given? So for example, I give you a thin film as shown in figure below. And I say that red light is seen in the reflections. So class, we are going to have two reflected rays. One reflected at the upper surface of the thin film, whereby it's reflected from a denser medium, so we have pi phase change. Ray 2 is reflected at the bottom surface of the thin film, whereby it's reflected from a less dense medium, so it will have no phase change. So ray 1 have pi phase change, ray 2 have no phase change, so the phase difference between them is pi radian. So they will act as antiphase coherent source. So after that, we find for the keywords in the questions in order to know that we want to do constructive or destructive interference. So red light is seen. So the keywords seen were telling us that we are going to deal with constructive interference. So how we are going to identify the correct equation? We are going to use equation 74 or equation 75 in the list of equation given. So, we use cross pair method. So, class, according to the situation given, the two reflected ray is antiphase, and then we are going to have constructive interference. So, start with antiphase constructive interference so this will be the equation we are going to use so class the equation that we are going to use will be 2nt equal to m plus half lambda this is how we identify the correct equation according to the situation given in a problem using cross pair method Easy, right? So class, now I show you a complete example how to solve the problem related to thin interference in thin firm. So always follow this problem solving strategy when you want to solve any problem related to interference in thin firm. First, we are going to visualize the thin firm. Then we identify any phase change for both reflected ray. So we are going to categorize the reflected rays into in-phase or anti-phase coherent source. Number three, we are going to refer to the keywords that we have in the question. We identify whether we are going to have constructive 
or destructive interference. Then we use the cross pair method to identify the equation. Lastly, we solve the questions. Now let us do together how to solve the question related to interference of the interference using cross pair method. So, refer to example 3, like with a wavelength of 598.3 nanometer, is shown normally on a soft film. If the film has an index of refractions n equal to 1.4 and is suspended in the A, whereby the refractive index for A is 1, find the minimum thickness for which it appears dark in refracted light. So, class, for any problem, related to interference of thin film, I suggest you to follow the following problem solving strategy step. So first we are going to visualize the thin film. So we visualize the thin film, draw the two reflected ray. First reflected ray is reflected from the upper surface of the thin film. Second reflected ray is reflected from the lower surface of the thin film or the bottom surface. Then second, we are going to identify any phase change for both reflected ray. So for ray 1, they are going to have pi phase change. Why? Because ray 1 is being reflected from a denser medium. For ray 2, there will be no phase change. Why? Because ray 2 is being reflected from a less dense medium. So there will be a phase difference of pi in between these two reflected ray. So, these two reflected ray will act as antiphase coherent source. After that, we are going to refer or find for the keywords to identify whether we are going to deal with constructive or destructive interference. So, so according to the keywords given, appear dark. So from the keywords appear dark, we know that we are going to deal with destructive interference. After that, we will use the cross pair method to identify the equations. So class, we are going to have empty phase and destructive. Yeah, so this one will be our equations. So we have 2nt equal to m lambda. m is the order number starting from 0, 1, 2, 3 and so forth. So for the minimum thickness, we are going to substitute m equal to 1. We shouldn't substitute m equal to 0 because if you try 2nt equal to 0, you substitute your m with 0, then you will find out that your Thickness will be zero because zero bahagi upper pun kosong, darah upper pun kosong. So this one will not be our minimum thickness. So we shouldn't substitute m equal to zero. For the minimum thickness that we have this kind, this equation, 2nt equal to m lambda. So we are going to substitute our m equal to 1. So we put in the value, then we will get our minimum thickness. The minimum thickness will be 2.1 to the power of negative 7 meter. So this is how we solve the problem related to the interference of thin film. Okay. Let us try another one. Example 4. Solar cells are often coated with the transparent thin film, such as silicon monocyte. The refractive index is 1.45. To minimize the refractive loses, a silicon solar cell with refractive index 3.5 is coated with a thin film of silicon monocyte for this purpose. Assuming normal incidence, determine the minimum thickness of the film that will produce the least refractions at a wavelength of 552 nanometer. So again, we will follow the problem-solving strategy. First, we are going to visualize our situations. So we have solar cell coated with silicon monocyte. And then the upper surface for sure is air lah sebab benda ni mesti letak dalam udara kan? So the upper, upper surface must be air. 
Okay, so there will be refracted ray 1 reflect at the upper surface of thin film and ray 2 reflect at the bottom surface of the thin film. So, ray 1 will have a phase change of pi because ray 1 is reflected from a denser medium. Ray 2 also will have pi phase change because it's reflected from a denser medium. Denser medium, okay? So, if we compare the two reflected ray, there will be no phase difference between them, alright? The phase difference is zero. So, these two reflected ray will act as in-phase coherent sources. And then, third step, we find for the keywords whether we want to deal with constructive or destructive interference. So, refer to the keywords least reflections. Least reflections means reflections yang paling kurang. Paling kurang, so it refer to destructive interference. Then we use the cross pair method to identify the correct equation for the situation given. So we have this time we have in phase. And then we want to do destructive. So this one will be our equations. Alright, so we are going to have 2nt equal to m plus half lambda. Whereby our m is always start from 0, 1, 2, 3 and so forth. So again, we are going to determine the minimum thickness. But for this time, our equation is 2nt equal to m plus half lambda. So, for the minimum thickness, we should substitute n equal to 0. Because m equal to 0, when you substitute here, it will give you the minimum thickness. Alright, so put in the value, then you will get the minimum thickness is 95.17 nanometer. So this is how we solve problem related to interference of thin film. So after you watch the video, I hope you can try to attempt the question related to learning outcome 8.4 in your tutorial books before you enter your tutorial session. With that, thank you for your focus. I shall see you on the next video.